Hi there, in this Microsoft Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic array filter function to filter our data sets and return specific columns. I'm going to do that in three examples. So let's get started. Now we've got this data set, it contains six columns. And of course, the data set is officially formatted as an Excel table by pressing the Ctrl T or Ctrl L keyboard shortcuts. Now, in the table design contextual ribbon tab, data has been given as the meaningful table name. Now, we actually want to filter this data set to return these three specific columns, dates, products, and sales. We're going to use the concept of array constants to achieve the first example. So in cell H2, I'm going to type in filter. Now, for the array, I'm going to give this data set and put in a comma. And for the include argument, we want to see the sales column that are equal to or greater than 10,000. Close the brackets and control enter. Certainly, so these are all the rows where the condition or criteria are true. In other words, where the sales value are equal to or greater than 10,000. However, we do not want all the columns. We are interested in these three columns. I'm going to come to the top cell and type in the second filter after the equal sign. And after I'm going to come here, put in a comma. So for the include argument, we're going to use the concept of array constants. So I'm going to open a curly bracket. Now we are interested in the first two columns and the last column, the sixth column. So I'm going to type in one comma one comma zero comma zero comma zero. Now zero simply means we do not want to return the column. And one simply means we want to return the column. So put in a comma. So for the sixth column, I'm going to type in one. Close the curly bracket. Close the second filter. Closing bracket. And control enter. Certainly, so this will pretty fine. However, this is not dynamic because we actually had coded the columns. We were the second example. I'm going to come to cell L2 and type in just control V to paste there. Okay, so we have the same thing. All right. Now I'm going to open up this formula and type in the second filter. Okay. And of course, come right after the red bracket, put in the comma. Now for the include argument, I'm going to use the count if singular. And of course, we need to provide the range and criteria. So I'm going to check L1 to N1 as the range, put in a comma. So for the criteria, I'm going to check all the headers in the original data set. And this actually coming in form of a structured referencing syntax. Okay. So close the count if, close the filter and control enter. And you can see that will pretty fine. And this is actually dynamic. Now let me change this to let's say you know, payment type. Now, when I click enter, see what happened, you can see it dynamically changes, okay? And that is cool. I'm gonna press Ctrl Z to put it back in um, product, cool. Now let's come to the third example. I'm gonna Ctrl V again and open the formula up. Just like we did, I'm gonna type in the filter and after this bracket, I'm gonna use the count if. So you can use the count if or the count if. Now for the criteria range, I'm gonna grab this P1 to R1, put in a comma, and for the criteria one, I'm going to grab the original columns, and I can close the bracket for the count if, and for the filter, control, enter. That's amazing. Again, it's actually dynamic, just like um, the other one. Now, let me just replace this sales with, let's say, you know, units. Can you say it's dynamically updates? If I do the same thing here, let's say I'm going to call this one, you know, price. Click enter, it's dynamically updates. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.